Hey guys, Tony here, CCXRC. We're in the garage working on some RC stuff. Thought I'd shoot you a little video, give you an update on my impressions and review of the Hot Racing Metal Gearbox gears and the Boca bearings that I put in my SCX10. But I also want to just kind of point out things have swapped around a little bit in here. I've moved my RC bench uh, from the other side of the garage over here to be closer to my TV so I can watch your videos while I'm working on my cars. Now I used to do that but it was a really a big strain on my neck to be looking across the room. But we've also started another hobby with the aquariums and so those are now all over on that side of the garage. And I've got everything for my RCs over here except for the wall of pegboard that had all the stuff. That's still over there. I'm um, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that to get them closer to me. But I already had tools over on this side and a lot of the stuff that I use. So I just made the move and so we've moved on over to this side. Now it's really hot here in Virginia. I haven't really wanted to be in the garage working on RC cars because it's just, it's too darn hot. I mean it's like humid. This room is just baking hot. It's really hot even right now. I've got the garage door open pushing air conditioning out into this room trying to cool it off a bit, not only for my sake, but to keep the fish tanks cooler. And I've been doing that on and off throughout the summer. Um, but it's just, it's really unbearable. And so this is, you know, some people don't, can't be outside during the winter because it's too cold. Well here the humidity and things make it just very unpleasant to be outside in Virginia in the summer. So my favorite times are spring, fall, and winter to run our seas here. And so I'm taking a little bit of a break uh, I'm trying to keep up with things and get out there as much as I can, but like I said, it's pretty brutal. Um, so the SCX-10, a little bit of a history for those of you who may just be stumbling upon this because you're looking at some hot racing stuff. I used this thing stock for a very long time. Um, the first upgrade I did was putting the, uh, the worn winch on here, and then uh, I went ahead and I got aluminum steering links and then I got the rest of the link set set up as aluminum as they buckled and um, the, the plastic gave way. This was a ready to run when I got it. Then I, I really started wanting to move the, uh, the weight from the rear where the battery was sitting and put uh, this, uh, this plate in here I picked up from Harley Designs and uh, then I went full bore and I added the dual motor mount. And as soon as I did that, a lot of you were saying, well, you're going to run into issues. You should have put in metal gears. Well, I'm here to say you are right about that. So I got, you know, I probably got 10 runs out of it in this setup. I was trying to stay as cheap as possible as I was going. But I did end up tearing up the gears. I mean, I was just folding them over uh, as I was doing my last run with it. It just totally destroyed all of the gears in the gearbox that were plastic that came in this. And so when I did the upgrade, I actually went into Debbie's RC World to get more plastic gears, just to limp it along while I was gonna order some metal gears. But they happened to have this little hot racing uh, metal gearbox aluminum here. You can see the green. This is it, it's this small piece. It's kinda hard to see because it's in the truck right now. Um, and with the dual motors, it kinda really buries it in there and so I got that as well as the metal gears that go inside and I picked up some new bearings from Boca um, and it is running fantastic now the video that you're seeing up here was a run from me uh, taking it on a vacation with us I've done a bunch more runs with it that I haven't recorded uh, because I just you know didn't have the time and I was just wanting to get out and run and I didn't want to you know stop and get all the camera stuff set up and so I've just been having fun running because it's hot I don't want to be out there long when you're filming it, it extends the amount of time that you're out and like I said it's very hot here in Virginia in the summer but man those bearings and the gears are so smooth I put a bunch of marine grease in there to waterproof it as you can see I'm running in water in this video and uh, just having a blast with it now uh, it's like buttery smooth and I, a lot of that I think is the bearings and then you get the toughness of the gears. I was really working it um, some on uh, some rocks the other day and it was, it was stuck. The wheels were just stuck and I was just powering through it to the dual motors and uh, no issues. Everything was smooth. We're running great. Took it apart, re-lubed everything up and it just looks fantastic in there. So 
Big thumbs up for the uh, the Boca bearings there, guys, uh, as well as the hot racing parts. Uh, it's my first experience with both of them, and uh, it's a big win for me and for the truck. And so, it uh, looks like this video is wrapping up here, which is kind of my cue that I need to be wrapping up here as well. But, um, guys, I would recommend two things. The motor, the dual motor setup is amazing for the power. But when you do it, like I learned, you're going to want to go ahead and get some metal gears in there. I really like the hot racing. There's a bunch of others that probably work great. Alrighty guys, so we got a lot more on the bench that's coming at you. I got to get working on the differentials in the X Max, figure out what's clicking. Uh, I got to get the uh, my dad's ruckus up and running. When my uh, nieces were here for Fourth of July, they were full on the throttle, snapped one of the uh, the drive shafts there on the back, and that's uh, so a two wheel drive. So uh, yeah, that makes sense. It's one of the dog bones, and then uh, I've got the uh, the Facebook budget project. I want to get a body on that. I've already got the body so I just need to get it installed, get the drift wheels on, get it out for some spins. So there's a lot more coming, a lot more in the future here. I'm really excited about that axial grave digger. I gotta get my hands on one guys. Not gonna be able to tell the wife about it of course, uh, but you know what? She's got something new. That's what's been taking up some of my time too. We've been looking for a new car. Hooked her up with a Mini Cooper Countryman S. So it's a turbocharged four-door, basically a go-kart with like tons of power. That thing handles awesome, super fun to drive. So we just picked that up just uh, over the weekend, having a blast with that. But man, that Grave Digger, I'm, I'm really digging the, the solid axle that they've got in there. The suspension, it looks totally tricked out. Needs a faster motor in my opinion, needs a uh, little bit more bashing power. Maybe something uh, brushless and a new drivetrain. I don't know. I'm just saying stuff's going to be coming out of the woodworks for that thing. Looks super sick though, Axial. Thumbs up for picking it up, for doing a, just a killer job with the, uh, the design on it. Uh, looking forward to getting my hands on one. So you guys will see a lot more from us here at CCXRC. My kids will be out running. Fall's going to be awesome for us here. Coming up very soon. So if you guys like these videos, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and we'll check you next time. Peace.